Hi guys, I'm teacher Lore. Welcome back to the second part of your English classes. Today we're going to continue the review of unit 11. So let's start. First of all, I'm going to read you something about ice water diving. Ice diving is a type of penetration diving where the dive takes place under ice. Because diving under ice places the diver in an overhead environment typically with only a single entry exit point. It requires special procedures and equipment. Ice diving is done for purposes of recreation, scientific research, public safety, usually research and rescue or recovery, and other professional or commercial reasons. Right guys, now it's time for a review of the vocabulary that we saw on our previous class. I'm going to repeat twice each vocabulary word in order that you can repeat them too. It's important for you this practice because it's going to help you to improve your fluency on your speaking. So let's start. Competition. Competition. Adventure sports. Adventure sports. Skydiving. Skydiving. Base jumping. Base jumping. Sky suit. Sky suit. Wing suit. Wing suit. Overslept. Overslept. Baby sitting. Baby sitting. Jog. Jog. Coral. Coral. Volunteer. Volunteer. Cage. Cage. Erase. Erase. And our last word is hung hung let's continue working guys it's important for you to take out your notebook and start writing down all the exercises we're going to work during this video first exercise we need to fill our sentences with the correct words that are located in the box first i'm going to start reading the words in the box we have nervous adventure brave and extreme and the sentence we need to fill are the following number one the climate in antarctica is very blank it is the coldest driest and windiest continent in the world number two i was very blank when i read a speech on stage i couldn't look at the audience number three jake wasn't afraid when he faced the bully he was really blank. And number four, Melanie loves to do blank sports such as mountain climbing and skydiving. Well guys, now it's time to answer all together the next exercise. Number one, the climate in Antarctica is very right, extreme. It is the coldest, driest and windiest continent in the world. Number two, I was very right, nervous. When I read a speech on stage, I couldn't look at the audience. Number three, Jake wasn't afraid when he faced a bully. He was really right, brave. And the last one says, Melanie loves to do right adventure sports such as mountain climbing and skydiving now it's time for exercise number two we need to find the correct word from the box to complete each sentence the words from the box are dangerous volunteer dive overslept and lost sentence number one you shouldn't play near the swimming pool if you can't swim. 
it's blank. Number two, Sally is a blank a habitat for humanity. She helps to build houses for people who need them. Number three, Ethan doesn't know where he is. He is blank. Emperor penguins blank into the ocean to find food for their chicks. And the last one, Brad was late for school because he blank. All right, guys, I know this is quite easy for you. So let's start answering all together. Number one, you shouldn't play near the swimming pool if you can't swim. It's dangerous. Number two, Sally is a volunteer at Habitat for Humanity. She helps to build houses for people who need them. Number three, Ethan doesn't know where he is. He is lost. Number four, Emperor penguins dive into the ocean to find food for their chicks. And the last one, Brad was late for school because he overslept. Okay, guys, net, let's continue with our class. Time to continue with a review of a really important topic that we saw on our previous classes. That and it's the use of our past continued tense in our past simple tense. First of all, we're going to review the correct structure of our tenses. First, the correct structure of our past continuous in a positive way is our subject plus was or were plus our verb in ing. In a negative form, we use our subject plus was or were plus not plus our verb in ing. And in a question form, we use it as was or were our subject and our verb with ing and at last our question mark. Our connector is going to be the word when. And let's go to the past simple tense structure. If we're talking in a positive way, we're going to write the next structure. Subject plus verb with ed. If we're using a negative form, it's going to be our subject plus did not plus our verb in its base form. And last one, our question form is going to be did plus our subject plus verb in its base form and its question mark. So let's going to see one example. In the first L sentence it says, I was eating dinner when he called me last night. As you may see, in our first part of our sentence, we are using a past continued tense because we may find our subject, that it's I, our was, and our verb in ing, that it's eating. Then it's connected by the word when and it's followed by the past simple tense and we can identify the structure because we have our subject that it's he our verb in past that it's called okay the next sentence is an example that you can change the order of the tenses as we may saw in the next example that it says when he called me last night I was eating dinner. In the first part, it's our past simple tense because you can identify our uh, subject and our verb with ed and also you may find our when word in the beginning of the sentence. And in the last part of the sentence, it says I was eating dinner. This tense it's correct, you are using our past continuous because we find our subject that it's I was plus the verb in ing that it's eating. Well guys, I hope that you had remembered this topic because we're going to have some practice about this topic. So let's continue with this exercise.
Take out your notebook, guys. Excellent, guys. Let's continue with our practice of the previous topic. And the instruction says, write the correct form of the verb in parentheses to complete each sentence. Number one says, Anne was blank when her parents got home. Number two, what were you doing when the bell blank? Number three, we were blank soccer when it started to rain. Number four, Mark was blank on the phone when the game ended. Number five, what was all blank when the teacher asked him a question? Okay, let's review sentence number one all together. Anne was blank when her parents got home. As you may see, we have the when word, which means it's going to connect the tenses, the tenses, sorry. So, as you may see, after when word, we have a verb that it's in past, in simple past, which means that we are missing the part of the past continuous tense. So, the correct answer is going to be and was sleeping when her parents got home. Okay, so now let's check these uh, sentences all together. Number two, what were you doing when the bell rang? Number three, we were, right, playing soccer when it started to rain. Number four, Mark was chatting on the phone when the game ended. And number five, what was all doing when the teacher asked him a question? Well, guys, I hope that you write down all these exercises we are doing because they are going to help you to study for your exam. So let's continue with the next exercise. Great, now it's time for our last exercise in which we are going to continue practicing the topic about past continuous and past simple. So let's start. Instruction says, drag each sentence part to its matching part. I'm going to read the matching parts, well, the possible ones that are the next ones. One, when one of the boys fell and broke his leg. Number two, when he heard a man shout. Number three, when my car start making a strange noise. Number four, when the electricity stopped. And number five, when she fell asleep. The next for a possible matching parts are, my sister were watching a movie on TV. Number two, my brothers were playing soccer. Number three, I was driving home. Number four, Sue was studying for an exam. And the last one is, we were walking in the dark. So, let's try to answer all together and check the answers. Number one, guys. My sister were watching a movie on TV. The correct answer is, when the electricity stopped. Number two, my brothers were playing soccer when one of the boys fell and broke his leg. Number three, I was driving home when my car started making a strange noise. Number four, Sue was starting for an exam when she fell asleep. And last one, it's we were walking in the dark when we heard a man shout well guys this is the end of the second part of your english class i hope that you enjoyed while you were watching these videos and remember keep safe at home see you later guys